Israfel by Edgar Allan Poe Read by Panthera Audio Quote And the angel Israfel, whose heartstrings are a lute, and who has the sweetest voice of all, God's creatures, the Quran. In heaven a spirit doth dwell, whose heartstrings are a lute, none sing so wildly well as the angel Israfel. And the giddy stars, so legends tell, ceasing their hymns attend the spell of his voice all mute. Tottering above in her highest noon, the enamoured moon blushes with love, while to listen the red Levine with the rapid pleads even, which are seven, pauses in heaven. And they say the starry choir and the other listening things. The Israfeli's fire is owing to that lyre, by which she sits and sings the trembling living wire of those unusual strings. But the skies that angel trod, where deep thoughts are a duty, where love's a grown-up god, where the hurai glances are, imbued with all the beauty which we worship in a star. Therefore thou art not wrong, Israfeli who despisest an unimpassioned song, to thee the laurels belong, best bard become the wisest, merrily live and long. The ecstasies above, with thy burning measures suit, thy grief, thy joy, thy hate, thy love, with the further of thy lute, well may the stars be mute. Yes, heaven is thine, but this is a world of sweets and sours. Our flowers are merely flowers, and the shadows of thy perfect bliss is the sunshine of ours. If I could dwell where Israfel hath dwelt and he where I, he might not sing so wildly well a mortal melody while a bolder note than this might swell from my lyre within the sky.